Okay. Now, let's go back up here in our view controller and let's override the public view did load. And this is where we can do our initialization of everything. Now first, we need to new up a picker. We also need to tell this picker that we are going to be the delegate. That's the code that we did down here. New picker delegate. And let's pass in a reference to ourselves. Now, let's respond to the actual camera button being clicked. We can do that by setting up a delegate for the camera button. Now, when they click the camera button, I like presenting them with an action sheet um, that can provide them the option of taking a photo or choosing a photo. So... pass in a blank title because I think it's pretty self-explanatory what they're actually doing. Um, let's make the first button choose a photo. Let's make the second button take a photo and let's make the third button cancel. I'm going to set the style of the action sheet equal to black translucent so that it matches the rest of my UI. Now I'm just going to call the action sheet dot show in view method and pass the current view. And that will display the view to the user, the action sheet to the user. Now what we need to do is respond to the action sheet buttons actually being clicked on. Again we're going to create another delegate for that. Now this time, instead of no parameters, I'm going to use the one that has the UI button event arguments as a parameter. That way I can perform a switch case on which button was actually selected. Case zero, this is our choose a photo. And here what we need to do first is we need to tell the picker what source type we're going to be using. <clears throat> and for this we're going to be using the photo library. Now I also am going to set the allow image editing. This will allow the user after the photo has been selected to do a little um, cropping and things like that to the image. Now we need to tell this view controller to present a modal view controller and we're going to pass in an instance of picker and we want to say yes to the animation break and that's it <clears throat> now the code for taking a photo is almost identical except instead of the photo library for the source type we're going to change that to camera Again, let's allow image editing. And we need to actually present the modal view controller. And break. And our last case is the cancel button. Here, you could set some variables or do whatever you want, but I don't really need to do anything, so I'm just going to break. Okay. <clears throat> And that's basically all the code that we need to allow the user to either take a photo or choose a photo from their photo library. <clears throat> now, earlier I told you that we needed to use this main.cs code to actually add our view to the window. Well, another thing is 
because we're not using a navigation controller or a tab bar controller, um, we have to account for the status bar ourselves. So what I want to do is get an instance of our image um, picker view controller. And then I want to new it up. Then I'm going to take the view that's actually in that, set it equal to a variable, and then draw a frame around that view. And account for that 20 pixels. And now let's call the window dot add sub view and let's pass in our view. Save it and let's run it. Oh, damn case sensitivity. <clears throat> it stumped me for a moment. And I'll open up our simulator over here. As you can see, there is our camera button. We click it. There's our action sheet. Let's first try to choose a photo. Here's where we can do our image editing. There you'll see where we set it equal to the image views dot image. Now, I can't show you take a photo because I'm only on the simulator, but here's our cancel, and it just quits. Um, that's the image picker controller.